Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a double act. Yes, a bit of a collaboration. So we thought what we'd do for you today is a classic Chanel comparison video. Yeah. Um, which we're doing together. So what we're going to do is we're basically going to do a comparison from walk all the way up to maxi. Yeah. Um, since we combined have the majority of them, although we are missing a small and a mini we are, yeah. at the moment. Um, yeah, at the moment. Uh, but yeah, we thought we'd take you through what we've, we've got so far and what they, they look like in various variances. So we thought we'd give you, basically for each bag, we'll let you know what our overall impression is and how much we like it. And then we'll also go through with the comparison and go through um, the measurements. The weight. Lambskin versus caviar. Silver hardware versus gold, uh, gold hardware. Double versus single flap. And um, what fits in from the largest to the smallest. And then we'll include some mod shots as well. Which we'll do with Jo, because she's skinnier. We'll do it with both, so people can see. We're, we're kind of the same, we're, we're, we're both little people. Yeah. Anyway, so we'll kick off with. Should we kick off with the with the walk? Yep, yeah, work our way up. We'll work our way. Up. We'll work our way from small to large. So I'll pass Lorna her walk. So this, you can see there, is the um, so black um, caviar boy walk. Um, as you can see, if I zoom in again, um, it has the black hardware on it and it also has the black hardware on the on the chain as you can see there so the main variances on this one is that it doesn't have the pocket at the back as most of the, the classic bags do which is a bit of an annoyance would be nice if it did um, but it does have that kind of lovely um, boy uh, detail on it still fits the same amount of stuff in it has the lovely uh, love note pocket um, there, you've got one slip pocket at the front, zip pocket uh, next, another little slip pocket at the back, um, here, which oh, has a train ticket in, uh, and then you've got your credit card slots there as well, as well as a kind of open bit in the middle too. Um, so yes, yeah, so this is, is wearing up very well and is a very good kind of evening bag. So the size of this one, so this is 19 centimetres by 12.5 by 5 centimetres, so that's length, height and width, which if you prefer imperial, which I think is what it is, it's 7.5 inches by 5 inches by 2 inches. So yeah, so it's a lovely little, um, more of an evening bag, because um, it doesn't fit a lot in it, but yeah. On to the next. So the next bag we have is one of my babies. So this is my classic flap in the medium large size in lambskin with gold hardware. The key features of this bag is unlike the wok we have got the little slip pocket on the back. More about what fits in that later. And um, if we open it up we've then got again the love note pocket, double flap with the burgundy interior, some wrapping and the strap is just inside there if I get that out and then you can see we've got the gold hardware going all the way through the strap as well. Now the measurements on this beauty are 25 and a half centimetres or 10 inches in length, 16 centimetres or 6.3 inches in height and then the width is three. Oh, that's totally wrong. Isn't it? No. The, the depth is three inches or seven and a half centimeters here. So quite a bit bigger than the wok. How much of a difference that makes when we see what fits inside, we will show you in a bit. Let's move on to the next bag. Yeah. We have actually done this quite well. It's mine, yours, mine, yours. I know, completely unplanned. <laughs> So next up we have my um, Jumbo, which again is in the caviar leather, you'll also notice a pattern there. Um, and this one has the silver hardware on it. So as you can see it does have the, the pocket on the, on the back uh, and the silver hardware on the, the Chanel um, CC lock. Very similar to the, the medium flap, 
mm -hmm. um, it has the love note pocket there, it is a double flat one, it's a lovely burgundy on the inside, front pocket there, and then your two slots on the inside, as well as your lipstick holder and your kind of open pocket there too. Um, but how does it compare size wise, Lorna? Well, so size wise, so this one, the jumbo, is um, 30 centimetres um, length, 20 centimetres in height, and it's 10 centimetres in width. I'll come and Joe and do that one. Um, which in centimetres is. A l oh, sorry, in inches rather, is um, 11.8, 7.9, and 3.9. So yeah, and this one as uh, on the, the um, medium large, the strap does come um, straight out. Ta -da. Ta -da. And can we go one larger? I think we can go one larger than that. Here we have the classic flap in the maxi. So. This is a single flap bag, and I'll go into some of the features later when we do the comparison between single versus double flap, but we've got the slip pocket on the back, silver hardware here in this beautiful lamb skin, open it up, and one big hole there, with a slip pocket and a zip pocket, and then just black on the inside of the main flap. So, the dimensions of this beautiful bag are 34 centimetres in length, which is 13.4 inches in imperial, or 23 centimetres in height, which is 9.1 inches, or we've got 10 centimetres in depth, which is 3.9 inches, which is exactly the same as the jumbo. The main difference between the jumbo and the maxi is the height and the length. So to show you exactly what that looks like, if I hold my maxi here and then Lorna brings her jumbo, if I line it up, yeah, so we've kind of lined it up, ish, badly, there, but you can see that there is, oops, oh. sorry, <laughs> a, bit of, a bit of difference. Um, I think it will be more telling when we show you what fits inside and do the mod shots. So, if we compare then, going down again, the jumbo to the medium large. So it's not the easiest this. But you can see there. Yeah. And turn. Pivot! Pivot! You can see there. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> difference. The um, difference in size, which is a lot more noticeable. Mm. And then if we compare the medium large classic, again, apologies, we do not have a small or a mini, but. We're doing quite well between the two of us, I think. Yeah. Um, you can then see... Especially the, now that in pricing rise. Yeah, I heard about that. When's that happening? Mm -hmm. Happened. Happened? Oh. 2,610 for a um, mini rectangle now. Wow. Won't be getting ones just yet. So you can then see the difference between the wok and the medium large flap. Cool. So that's sizing. Yeah. Now, what about weight? Shall we see what weight is? Yes, because Jules brought scales. I brought scales. So, um, we'll set up the scales. I'll just change the camera angle quickly and we'll show you what each one weighs. So let's see how much the wok weighs. It's 365 grams. Okay. Let's move on then to the medium large double flap in lambskin. We go hardware. So that is 591 grams. Let's go up one size more to the jumbo double flap in caviar. Whoa, 1,262 grams. And last but by no means least. The largest of all the bags, the maxi in lamb with the single flap. And that's 861 grams, so wow. quite a bit lighter than the yeah, double flat jumbo. Hmm, very interesting. Right, well I thought that was quite interesting in terms of the weight difference and something that I 
wasn't actually that aware of before, so... No, it was quite interesting. That was worthwhile. So, now we'll come on to the next category, which is caviar versus lambskin. Yeah. Should we start with caviar, Laura? Yeah, I think we'll just use the jumbo for this one. This is a bit easier um, to decipher. So, within with the caviar um, leather, it is a bit renowned for being a bit more of a durable leather and a bit more hard wearing. Um, it is kind of a bit... It's not obviously a smooth leather, it is a bit textured. Um, and I don't know if you can see the texture. Oh, that's coming out pretty well. Um, in the, the camera there. Um, but yeah, I mean, this I this has kind of got no real damage to the, the, the base of it, the bottom of it. And I have used it for, for work on a day-to-day -day basis. So I figure, if I own it, I should use it. Absolutely. Um, but yeah, I mean, this kind of holds up quite well. It's quite tough. You don't have to worry about it in the rain, in the sun. It's something that you can use all year round um, and not have to, to baby it or worry about it too much. Um, I do um, keep it clean uh, with products from uh, Love Lolo, from their, either their Colin range or their new um, Pegdan range. Pegdan, Pegdan, Pegdan range. Um, but no more than I do with any other bag. So just to show you the difference, um, as it happens I have both my Chanel bags in the lamb. I do have a boy in caviar, so I'm not anti-caviar at all, but just to show you the difference. This is my medium large, which is my newer, older to me but newer bag, um, and has been used not that much. So that is the lamb there. You can see it's completely Are you taking it to smooth. Paris with us? This may be a Paris bag, or I might do the boy bag. Oh, okay. it's, it depends also about how much you need to take, what fits inside. True. Probably. Anyway. Mm. So that, digress. You can see there just how luxurious this is. So I umdenard for a long time between. Didn't like, yeah, it's a long time. Long time. And even in the shop again, between caviar and lamb, I went for lamb purely on looks because I think it is just stunning and just looked really sumptuous and just more. Can you just borrow your jumpers? Yeah. To me, it just looked more black. If you just see, if you do side by side, I think the way the light hits it, this just looks a deeper black mm. to me. And it does actually, even when you kind of look at the the two of them, this looks more kind of yeah, grey bluey. It's, it's just like, the way the yeah, it's, it's the way the light yeah. reflects. And for me, I just wanted, particularly with the gold hardware as well, I just wanted the lamb. So that was my reason for choosing lamb. I did some research online. Mel in Melbourne. Lot of and cons. There are. Mel in Melbourne's done a really good video actually, and she does a scratch test. I'm not doing that. But she does a scratch test, and basically, you can just. She just then rubs the scratch out afterwards. So, I found this to be fairly durable. I believe the caviar is more durable, and I also believe the caviar is heavier. Now, we can't do a direct comparison between caviar and lambskin weight because we don't have the same bag in the different yeah. leathers. We've got practically every combination between the two of us but not a direct comparison but I believe that the lamb is a little lighter mm -hmm. and that was the, my reason for doing it was just because of the jet blackness. I'm just going to show you very quickly the maxi. So this I bought pre-love so it is a few years older and I've been using this as a carefree work bag as well so it's been doing the London commute on me and pack trains and has held up pretty well. You can see the corners there so I don't think lamb is necessarily as delicate as everybody makes out and just with a quick rub with a cloth it comes up pretty nice again. So I think that's about it to stay on the leathers really. We've talked about durability, look, yeah. weight, yeah, and just colour. even on the, the smaller bag as well, the, the caviar um, one. Well this is quite, the, the grains in this are slightly smaller um, than what they are in the, the jumbo but yeah just very durable, very easy to wear. And the caviar is, of course, calf skin as opposed to lamb, so. Yeah. Different beast. Green so calf beef. skin. Yeah. Cool. So, next we talk, we'll we talk about hardware. So, again, another decision to be made when buying a bag is do you go for gold or silver hardware? Yeah. Now, Lorna. <laughs> I have black hardware on the walk as we've uh, shown before. Um, I went for the black basically because I was looking for this bag and we went on a bit of a mission into London to try and find it with we some did. less than helpful sales assistance. Um, and originally I wanted it in the silver hardware 
Then when I was at Heathrow uh, flying up to Glasgow, I actually saw it in the So Black um, and fell in love with it. Um, partly also because the silver hardware that they did on the Boy Walk at the time was the kind of, um, what do you call it, kind of aged target. Okay. Is it Rima? Ruthenium? Yes, uh, hardware. So it wasn't quite as kind of um, glossy and shiny as it is on the, the rest of the bags. So I decided to go for the So Black on this one, which I really like because it's a little bit different and it blends in and actually it has held up really well um, from when I used this bag, both that and on the chain, which I'm really pleased about. Another one I went for was Silver. I am a Silver Hardware girl, um, hopefully with the old Birkin in 18 days time. Um, 18 days. 18 days. It will be um, Palladium Hardware. I tend to kind of wear Silver. Um, jewellery or kind of uh, platinum jewellery as well, kind of a white mm -hmm. and silver watch. So for me I kind of go for that because it's, it's what I like and I find with my nice pale and pasty skin um, the silver goes better than the gold. So for me it was just purely down to um, wanting choice. But I do find, I know some people say you can't dress silver up as much, I don't find that. But then I think it is just personal preference mm -hmm. and I think people can get what they what they like. Yeah, and I went for gold on my medium large classic flap um, because whoops, phone. because I wanted something that was a bit dressier and also I had a, a bomb on blazer which was black with gold buttons I've got some gold earrings I've also got um, platinum as well so I tend to mix my metals up quite a lot and I also have the maxi with the silver hardware so you can see both there and how different they look and you know even looking at lamb skin with gold I think is glossier than lamb skin with silver I think it does give a slightly more dress down look for me that was good because of this being an everyday work bag but again I think with either or you can dress it up dress it down and it is just complete personal preference of course if you go for the older Chanel bags the vintage ones then the gold is actually real yeah, no. gold but not now so that's hardware covered. Yeah. What should we talk about next? Um, I think we'll be on to what we can put in them. I think we should talk about whether single flat versus double oh, flat. We'll do that first. Should we do single? And I think Not the, the bossy one. <laughs> Me? <laughs> okay. So I think the most classic style is double flat, and I think most people, when they buy a, a classic Chanel flat bag, go for the double flat. And I think partly that is because nowadays they don't do the single flap anymore. They kind of seem to have discontinued it. And if you're buying a bag now or even up until um, I think 2014, if not before, um, you can now only get your classic bags with a double flap. Um, mm -hmm. So they all come with the, with the two flaps. Um, it does take up space. Yeah. Um, and it is slightly annoying. I don't know anyone that actually puts the press stud down on theirs. I do mine for storage only. Yeah, but if you're using it, I don't think oh, people no. do. Um, it's just a bit of a pain in the neck, but you know, that's the way that the Chanel decided to, to design the bags. So, I think one of the advantages, and again I've got the, you know, the, the medium large and the double flat, I think one of the advantages of double flat is the bag holds its structure that bit more. And I probably mm. should mention that around the leather as well, I think being the caviar leather, the, again the structure is held a bit more. So in the single flap you can see, I mean this is an older bag as well and has been used a lot more and not abused but I mean I I put my flask in this to go to work, my tea flask goes in this so it's not babied at all and it's still got its structure, you know there's, no, there's zero stuffing in this and there's actually nothing in it right now either um, but it doesn't hold its structure as well. However the single flap is lighter. Yeah. And I think you know, as our we'll, weight test showed. And yeah, the weight test showed a big difference. Like yeah, bigger bag, a lot lighter. Um, and if we just, I was gonna say, just show me a hole. But um, if we just show you what the the big compartment looks like, you can see there a lot less. Well, it's easy to see, um, but a lot less fuss. And inside, with the pockets of the single flap, you obviously have the you have a big slip pocket here. And then you have a zip pocket there, uh, which I actually find to get into. And then the rest is just a big hole that you can put things in. And then on the 
and say on the back is exactly the same as you would get on a double flap. Yeah. So I think the advantage of this, like I say, is mainly weight and being able to fit more in and get to it a bit easier. Yeah. Agreed. So we'll show you on that, we'll now show you um, what fits inside and for that we're going to start, start big and go small. Okay. See you in a moment. Right, so starting with the maxi single flap. First item I'm going to put in this is a 13 inch laptop. So we'll just slide that in like so. And you can see. Maybe that's not 13 inch, right? I don't think this is a 13 inch. Uh, where's your measuring tape? Okay, so the laptop that I have for demonstration purposes to show that you can fit a 13 inch laptop in a Chanel Maxi flap is actually a 15 inch laptop. Good so, <laughs> so, as you can see, a 15 inch laptop does actually fit inside the bag, but what you can't do is then do it up. However, a 13 inch laptop or MacBook will fit in perfectly easily and you can do it up and I'll, I've done that in a previous video from when I showed so my So we shall link to it up here. I can't do that, you can do that. I'll do it. I know, it's a software flat. Anyway, but for illustration purposes, let's pretend the 15 inch laptop is a 13 inch laptop and I'll show you what else goes in and obviously you know that it'll be a bit smaller with the 13 inch and it will do up. So as well as that, I can put in my Louis Vuitton Clements wallet, which is a, a slim but full size wallet, that can go in. I have my Chanel O case cosmetic case, that can go in. I have trusty umbrella, that can go in. It's the usual stuff I carry all the time. Nail file, very important, obviously. Hermes agenda, that can go in. Um, travel pass for the train, I'll put that in the slip pocket on the back. Keys, as you can see I'm not putting this in any great order. Tissues, because you never know. Um, tangle teaser. Headphones. Handbag holder thing, I've spoken about that before. Just because sometimes I don't want to put the bag on the floor. Um, iPhone, other iPhones, the iPhone 10 that I dropped earlier, so that will go in, and some glasses as well. So, as you can see, I haven't packed that very carefully. It's looking quite full, <laughs> I'm not going to lie, it's pretty heavy. Um, but that went in and that will go in fairly easy. If this was the correct size laptop, it would also close and would close fairly easily. You can see from the side view there that yes. the bag is not pushed out at all. So how much of that can we get into the jumbo, Lorna? Well, let's uh, do a pull out and put in. Sounds a bit dodgy. <laughs> I think we'll make that. Just quickly fix the chain in there. So I'm going to pull out the 15 inch laptop that we're pretending Which is a 13 inch. We won't attempt to put in here because there is just no way that the 13 inch or a 15 inch is actually going to fit in at all. Do you want to see it? Um, just maybe... There we are. Ah, okay, there. so um, if we try putting in... The Clements Wallet. Do you want to see it in the reverse order? Yep, the we'll same order. Clements Wallet. And we pop. The uh, Chanel makeup pouch, I already was feeling quite full, but we keep going. The Hermes agenda. The trusty umbrella. Oh, I'm starting to struggle. I slightly forgotten the order, but hey. Keekly, very important. Mm -hmm. Nail file, equally as important. You never know. Earphones. Oh, this is a must. Tangle tees. I don't think we're going to get the tangle tees in. Really? Nope. We're full up already. We're full up. 
fill up. Okay. So, so what we've got left then? We can close. But yeah, that sounds pretty. Fill up. You can see there. I mean, again, you probably could play, you know, Tetris and get get things in slightly better, but not much. No. Um, well. So what we've got left is the tangle teaser, the glasses in the Gucci case, the handbag holder, which that probably will go in. in. That will probably yeah, go in. Um, and two iPhones. Did you get an mm. iPhone in? Mm. Probably get the one without. Get the one without the cover on. Um, and I'd struggle to get the one with the cover on in. Play about. I think we can do it just. Okay, and is that feeling pretty heavy? Have you got then room? With a ton. You got room for that in the back pocket as well? Yep. Is that quite tight though? Quite tight. You can see it kind of drops out a little bit and you can see it's quite tight from in there. That's said my flap's a little looser. <laughs> so I think being, um, being lamb, and being slightly larger and being slightly older and more used, this flap on the back of the Maxi is a little wider and, excuse me, for example, you could just get your iPhone, this is the iPhone 10 in an Apple case, don't get me started about that, but that goes in really easy and slips right in there, you can mm. just get in and out, which... I think we can do in the jumble with the bog standard iPhone 6S. 6S will go in there quite nicely. Without a case. But without a case. Second hand work one, it was a state when I got it, so. Whereas what's the what's it like? Do you want to just try and try? So it goes in. It goes in, but a bit of a fight. And it's a bit bulkier. Okay, shall we see the Right. Changing them into the medium large. large. Right. So Right, so here we go with the medium large classic double. Obviously we're not going to try the laptop. No. So the O case would go in, but just putting that in on its own, you can see there, the bag is pretty much full just with that. So you know what, I'm not going to use that. Let's try a mini pochette instead. Which is empty, but we'll put that in. That's cheating. It's just giving an idea. I do put the mini pochette with things in, in here. Clement's purse. Clement's purse, which I don't tend to use with this bag, for obvious reasons, it's big. You can see there, that that pretty much fills the bag. Um, I then could fit in... Agenda? Yes, I could fit in my agenda. I'm already starting to think about where stuff, oh no, it's going to have to go that way. Keys? Yeah, I'm going to have your keys. Mm, yeah. The brolly? Mm, can I balance it on top? Mm, no, I'm already getting upset at the fact that it's stretching the bag. No, and I'm, again, we're not going to force it because we are Chanel lovers here, so we're not going to force it. So that is pretty actually already just with those items it does shut and that does did close fairly easily but you are not going to fit much more in no nope. I think that the key with this is don't use a full-size wallet is is the the key with that and do I need my agenda no but you, you're still struggling with you know phones so you've got phone keys mini pochette that, which yeah, goes in the back there. Very important nail Yeah, the nail file. Tissues. Tissues. Mm. Yeah, I, I like my like my tissues, and I buy the smallest tissues you can get for exactly this reason. Yeah, they go in nicely, as you can see. Bag holder. Bag holder. Yeah, which again I want with this, especially you know, it's lamb. Headphones will go. Nice headphones. So that's that's fairly. I have to say that is in. Fairly easily, but remember the mini pochette is empty, and in the back pocket, my card holder isn't perfect. It'll do, but I don't really want to stretch that back pocket. But it is okay. I would do it for limited time periods. 
So that does go in, but remember also I probably want a little card holder or something as I've taken out the Clements wallet. Yeah, you need some cards. A card holder, which would fit in, which would fit in, but what goes in the wok then? Yeah, this will be interesting. It'll be interesting to see how much you can get in a wok compared to the medium large actually, because. Obviously, you're not gonna. We're not gonna attempt the Clements wallet because, well, it's a no, walk. It's not fit in. Um, so obviously, with this, and what I do do is I will use the card slots for cards. So we will assume that's why you wouldn't carry a wallet. Um, so if we do, um, so would you would you be able to fit in? That's like, for me. This is important. Would you be able to fit in a tangle teaser? I don't think so, but because okay. I don't go anywhere without that. No, no. I'm getting that in. And again, it's too it's too fat, isn't it's it? It's too fat. They really need to come up with a thinner one. I don't. I say this all separate video. Um, so shall we go for? Well, I suppose you would you put makeup in there? Yeah, you know, only loose. Okay. Should I phone? Phone. Phones in. So we'll phone them. We'll assume six credit cards or bank cards. Mini pochettes. Keyclay. Keyclay, rather. Mm. Yeah, I'm not even going to bother with the mini pochette because we're starting to struggle already. Yeah, maybe she's need the size of the bag, so yeah. I won't bother with that. Um, tissues? Tissues? Um, we can maybe shove... Yeah, we can get tissues in. I think we'll get headphones in. I, I'm really? feeling optimistic about headphones. Yeah, we can get headphones in. And now far? Um, start to push it. What about if we put that on bef in before the headphones? And just have it flat on top. Would that go? Mm, no, I think what I'm finding with this, um, and one of the reasons why I don't have a large phone case, is it's the phone case that's taking up the majority of the space. So if we take that phone out and put the plain f the phone with nothing on it in, we get that in quite nicely. Again, we can get the nail file in and mm -hmm. the headphones. Oh, and, and I reckon the, the little and the little holder holder as well, one behind the tissues, or it could even slide in the front pouch. And that closes up quite nicely. It is quite full, as you can see, but everything is in. And we haven't stretched. I think that's the important thing with all of these tests. We are not stretching the bags because it's not representative of what we would do with them because we're bag lovers. Yeah, agreed. So yeah, I think that's what would fit in here. Would, out of interest, would the, the phone without the case, the 6S, would that go in the front pocket, slip pocket? Yes, but it does bulk the bag out. It's almost, it almost takes up more room than if you just put it in the main Again, section. Again, with the zip part. I mean, the zip part probably. Um, okay, so if you wanted, I just think if you wanted your phone in there and you wanted to maximise space by not using a case, you could then still protect the phone by having it in there in its own little place, is what I was wondering. Yeah. I mean, again, we're just kind of trying these out as we're doing them, so I'm just seeing what other things can fit in, and if there's a better way of economising the space. But, I mean, with that, what we've got in, it does kind of, that is the bag probably at its max um, for carrying around. Yeah. Well, there we go. So, well, next, we'll do some mod shots, and um, we'll do that, and then we'll do uh, our final conclusions. Yeah. Whoop, whoop. Right, so here's the maxi. Here it is on the double strap being worn on the shoulder. So that's what it looks like. I then can change this to be on the single strap. And there it is again on the shoulder. So obviously you can see it's coming down a lot lower. And then if I want to wear this crossbody, there it is. And again, a really good hip height, or we can switch it back a bit, further forward. What about the jumbo? So the jumbo then, so this is how I normally wear it, being a lefty, it's on the left uh, shoulder. Uh, I tend to, to wear it more like this, as you can see, it sits quite comfortable there, you can put your arm on it and you can use it to kind of just be like that. You can also use it as a shoulder bag, which I think tends to work for tall people better, but as you can see I'm 5 foot 2, so not all that tall, and it's a bit long um, for me. And the same as you can also do cross body, again probably sits just a little bit too long for my liking um, there, so I don't tend to use it cross body, but again maybe if you've got a taller 
torso or a longer torso uh, it might suit you uh, cross body a bit better ideally it would maybe be up to about there um, but yeah that's that one there so can we compare on the long shoulder strap on the shoulder yeah so I'll just come back in so I'm at similar height I'm say five I'm gonna say five pin a little bit because a little bit counts but you can see we're pretty similar um, so just on the shoulder you can see that the jumbo is quite a bit longer. Just make it even. Oh, we're exactly the same way. You can see the jumbo is quite a bit longer there. And in fact, if we just just hold it, I'm just try it. You can see there the difference in length. All right. Yeah, I'm sure it's the best thing in my jumbo. That's fine. We'll run with it. <laughs> So what about the medium large? Okay. So too many Chanel bags. Right, if I swap the maxi for the medium large, and again show you, this is partly why I chose the medium large over the jumbo for a smaller bag. I want this was better on me. So here it is on the shoulder. And then if I lengthen the strap. You can see it there, again, on the shoulder, a really nice, easy height to use. <coughs> and then you can actually wear this crossbody. It's not ideal, it's a little short, but you can do it crossbody. If you want it just a little bit more at the front, I quite like that look. Or then even just swish it to the back. So again, quite a difference. Sorry, the, we're going to borrow the jumbo again, show you the difference in chain length. You can see there, look at it even, quite a difference. And if I put the jumbo on one shoulder and the medium large on the other, big difference there. But what about the walk, Lorna? Last but by no means least, the walk, which you can wear on your shoulder, again, it's, it's, it's quite a nice length if you like wearing your bag like that. I do tend to wear this more cross body. Um, for me it's actually um, a really good length. It kind of just hangs in there. Again, you can put it around the back. And really um, secure and as well if you're wearing it on an evening out. Yeah, it's great for an evening out because you can just get in and out of it really easily. Around so that you can actually, I think that might be us now, um, you can actually use it as a shorter length bag. And um, we're pulling it in like that, or closing the bag on the chain, um, and using it like this. That's pretty. Which, I don't know, it's not, not something I have used or done before, but uh, it can be done with um, the, the walk. But yeah, it's a great one, or you can also, um, as well, uh, carry it like this, um, on that length. Or you can also just use it, which I have done before at um, some work events, is just use it as a clutch bag. I carry it like that. So yeah, that is um, our mud shots for the day. So, as we bring the, the video to a close after talking through the dimensions, heights, weights, um, silver hardware versus gold hardware versus so black hardware, caviar Car versus lambskin, single flap versus double flap. We hope you found that useful as well as seeing the bags on us. Um, slightly crazy bag ladies here. We, I think in, in conclusion we both love both our bags yeah. and it's particularly with the hardware I think it, with all of this it's very much down to personal taste I think yeah. and there is as we've seen pros and cons of all those different variances so hopefully that's been informative so if anyone is thinking of buying a classic Chanel flap they're feeling a bit more informed as to what they would like. Yeah, so thanks very much for watching and uh, you never know what happens in Paris. Yes, we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. Don't forget if you have liked this, please subscribe to both of our channels and we'll link them both below. Um, jo needs to get to 500 so she can get a light ring and she's been very excited about using one today and well, I still have a small amount of subscribers so the more the merrier. Bye! Bye! Ready? Hold on, what are we saying? Let's have a look there. Mm -hmm. Okay.
I might, oh, this was probably <laughs> whilst we're not recording. How are we doing it? You do yours either mine or are you yeah. doing well? Yeah, well I thought if I say welcome to my channel, you're welcome to your channel, then we say what we're doing. Okay. okay. Ready? Yes, go.